jo abusia mo bi akwa ba e de ba chat with say so and then you bring so e de nyanko kwa se se ene en so why adom na tekamada bu de na mo je de akusan we mu minim se wo ti ase a wo ojidie ye pa se nya wa ho ode nya otumi ana se ahonya bi a wanya ne mum e e otwe di anko nyanko pon na da roma e na won so wa se bi ene nyumre enu ti no se wa join me ene nyumre ya eh eh my nya den ba ko na ye nyina ye nka se ewrade nyankopon ye da wase se wa joni mi amisho type thank you jesus ina nyumri ma ye ne nyame ase e wo ye ni adoye a wo de adom ye ina nyodi eh anaji nsu nyankopon ye adom ye nsaka ye ma me ba ko when we say chat we say abri bia no nyankopon ye adom a ye nya personality a obehye ye nkran Obe bie bie ni ame mwa che mwye hun ni ama e koso around us. Anadwi, we are privileged to have in our midst Reverend Gloria Kafui Lamte. She's a mother. She's a pastor. And a wife as well. And so tonight, if you are here with me, help me welcome our mama, Lady Reverend Gloria Kafui Lamte. Mommy, in patch up me more quaba at the back chat with Sesso. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. Mommy, in patch on a pumoko, dear. Patch of Bibia Boko, Yami and Tom. Yeah, then Yanko Mwase. Near the kind of make us say, Meta was seeing ye pass, eh, me tunes after a old jipin, ye say, when ye bedding come on and I do your chat with Sesso. Nesu meda mwa se se mwa jwe mwa na mwa frere me. Se me mbra chat we se so. Meda wa se ni wani wa pa mfu nye na ni wa chef wani utie fu nye na na. Ok, thank you so much. Ma ye ni ken enko wa mpra bu mwa kakra. E ni fwa na mama Gloria kapu ilampi ufri. Mi fwi anyako e wa volta region. Ok. Na o stati abrabo se ina na eti e o ni o parent eti na e mi nimi se bin yen binu mi edi e parent anti na e chan chan kofu on chain ni ni amavi bray se ina wa shasi e e e e okay me da wa se e wo me o kuma se some few years ago some years ago e na me ma me ni me papa no mo o kuma se nti e wo me kuma se ni e di me ba akwa. I went to Accra and I went to school. I went to the Youngsters International School. I went to the Youngsters and I went to Kital Secondary School. And I went to Sight and Sound Secretarial School. And then I went to the International Theological Seminary. I went to the International Campus for Florida, but the Ghana Campus. I went to the Ghana Campus. In a nutshell, I went to the life and I went to the top of my mouth. Okay, now it's a year. It's a year. It's a year. It's a year. Who didn't come to as of the grand son of Ushia Ura? Debbie, my man, as of the grand son of Ushia Mira, your worry and son, me, 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 my friend. Let me say this. Me, me, who said I'm making with you, but I, I got my calling in his calling. Ooh. Yes, I got my calling in his calling. He. Ya wari ya infie kakra na ya starting ministry ya na meso wasi me ku school na meso mebe buwano ya wo ministry ya. Oh nice, oh nice. Na ya bebe sa, ya na ushi ya daddy. Ok, na ya wa sorry international bible worship center. Ubi invite me, na me de, na me straight catholic, me ma amene me pupenye na straight catholic. But we'll be inviting me to International Bible Worship Center in the Royal House Chapel. Into a home, and I'm here. No, no, I'm a choir director. I'm so the choir staff. No ma, me ji yesu se me choir ni ma ji choir. I'm so me ko joini ushering department. And I'm ko joini drama group. And I ya wo youth. No ma, into um, emu ko na yeshia. Okay. Uh, next, uh, you show me your partner. Say, 
Yamia Jumani Muan, a trim trim, a bang yet. Sa, sa. Okay. Is it a shia, ura, a daddy? Say not, not if it's a sena near Matia. No, Nisha, no, no. Actually, I mean, no, no, no. They be a mekasa, I say, we may assure some coffee, but mutia, your matte, me testimony, your matte, say, be a mekasa, na interview, so. Makasa se mwe da. Um, Michelle, no na or like I said, no a worshiper da da, no a choir director. But me osha one day, ena matia me hu me me jia hoko ena me shedi ya oye nto. Ena me te ni bi se ukru ni ena mse ready. We di a mimpo. Mimpo my background baby a mi free ni ni ama me hu me exposure. Um, he was a young man. Uh, be, uh, be, um, he wasn't. He wasn't my type of person. Inti no mekache. I dey say we dem pacho mempe. Inti mi who say or bawo epiye ana ma fa na for because mempe say be shia. Mempe say mi ne ne kwa be shia baby ma we be say me how are you? Mempe, but strangely no. You join a drama group new together. Mm. Into you know, uh, one way or the other, no, our path crossed. One day before drama group no be here, kasi empo no. Emo she ame no kache mi say sister. Without anything, without we be a, I want to marry you. Will you marry me? Na mi say ah, e wa de. When ti na mi say men pe no. I don't rush. I mean, no romantic. I miss Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. The way the any idea I may need you to cry because um, na me per se will be you know a young girl. I'm about to be a romantic man and I see the visa. So I didn't actually like him. Ena senior or yeah, na idea. But it is still ane me journey journey no. But that's faith will have it. No drama group in your per minute no. Na me ye ni side check. E wo drama, drama ba kwa ye ye mu. And then we were going, we went to a beach and one thing led to the other. And me pene so ma, you know, and we are almost 25 years together. Wow. Wow. Na during those times, ha, na daddy, e tu chun ni ube wa na o so try se ube jani because o ka initially ni se na um, um, pe. Mm -hmm. Not sometimes, no. Uh, when that times are not daddy, a eh, papa, and I who say no, not was said, who said, I, I want this woman, so let me do all I can. Okay, so this is uh, later on. I'm in the home, sir. I said, I'm in the home. Okay, I said, Will you marry me? I love you. I said, I love you. I want to marry. Will you marry me? I'm a shell. I'm saying, Are you my type? Sir, I'm not my car, you know. A yen a ja pa in the Oja Michi di. And according to no no, or status or bomb pie. Say, Iradi. Say about a baba way, ye may there. Cassach said, no, no, mum, and my forward. In the no, I say, in five bonny ye, Juma. In the later on, I said, I started liking him because, or ye versatile, or ye be 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 his. You could see, said there was this greatness embedded in that time. So only near, you could wow. see that greatness. So yes, because say okay, any matter say no, no, so I no church. Now every now also tears here. Now we hear what they say that this is here matters here. Now no so church no no. Then about dream. Me bufu ye kwa me se a eni enke. Adi e nya adi a. E nya adi a me sheda se me pe pe sa. Oh, oh, so be a u u u u siswa. You have this mindset of the kind of guy a ope. E ne na mafu a ba de be pe ma yu a no mu pe take tall, hairy chested, six pack, you know. Me man, kasa that is what I wanted. But me po be a. Na me po be a yes self-sufficient. Oh, po be a. Or best shame, ah, yeah. be be, you know that kind of thing because I was just coming from a relationship before I became born again. Now me dated bank manager, stand chat bank manager. 
And then I now me who a brand or your prison's officer. Be who the be an shirt me you know any way I wish draws about Pabana a suffer and a Pontius Pilate. Okay, so for the first time, now is the Enkoko me brain and him say not daddy a prison officer. Until the mommy a boss who has said not daddy a prison officer. I know a prison officer. He was a prison officer for 10 years and Sana Onya calling now, Onya direction to come into full time ministry. Okay, and you know, uh, at what time? And uh, oh, dear, say my daddy, daddy, a year and I just said, and to the whole day, my jay, mammy, so me, my dream, I mean, in corny parent, or no, 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 even and then and no picture or can after twenty five years, no, still I can say maybe me catch and say, Are you my type? That's no, a yen a yap, but I believe say with time, no, or the yes, Syria, but that time a yen a yap, and you know, um, and she be a yakot, they say three months, okay, and I and I worry, I. Okay, okay. Now, Ebra, uh, uh, at the time I almost said, now that the call, you know, uh, back a crack, and did you ever say to yourself, say, ah, me and my dreams ever were so poor? And I said, you had it in mind, said, no, the Yam Coupon Bay or Abra Bumbia, you are cool with it. No, me, Pesa may so poor, even though, said, me more Catholic church, you know, I mean, you know, I wanted to be a nun, mm. I wanted to be, uh, yes, I wanted to be a reverend sister. Um, see, but me bear born again, no sad any free me. I mean, I'm saying, I mean, I want to say, ye be a mammy. I want my bra boom. And you know, me who call in, I just, I just, no, I'm person my worries of actually, no, I'm in but me who said, oh, what call in, I didn't reject it. My rejected cry. I just aligned with his vision, Mr. To say, no, or handle choir, a youth choir of the church then. See, I found myself talking to the ladies. My one, no 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 no one, no 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 Say, if it is a man, me say me, me no money now. No work at lecture. Just one year, boom, so first communion, second communion, me, 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 um, confirmation and all that. Catholic church, strict Catholic church. Me, me, I come from a very strict background. Me, Papa, a very uh, strict disciplinarian. And you know, na enye easy, mama. They didn't agree from the beginning. And the fact is, say. Or young crane, yeah, maybe young men, you know. Now, no, so you're a factor. Now, a year we, but my papa and Trini Bibri, he's a very peaceful man. Or sister, Obisame, after a while, when I'll pay, when I'll pay, when I'll pay three times, they say, I'm so okay, it's your life. So they just gave me the go ahead. Wow. Wow. Mommy said, uh, now papa, and you'll be a no hard me. So they just ask her, say, we now pay, we now pay three times, and then mm. they, they give it the go ahead. And then yes, yes. say, Oh, the pencil, I'll do a bit too. Now, you delve into ministry, Kakra. Uh, okay, that is a full time ministry. No, now, who you say, now I'm part of the ministry. You no, know? how was the reaction from a family side? You no, know? okay, um. Um, no, eh, like I said from the beginning, my papa no on you be a osha ye ni di osha ye so pa <laughs> but ye ni do baby no once I o find it o part it pe o be jaw o be bom pa ya ma wa jaw o o se e ya o life in si no um, they were always encouraging me say say no na me pa say um, be sad me say me ba back to Catholic church na because me ba back to Catholic church initially I have I was say me worry wo Catholic church say ni be I'll still be a communicant. Meeting me the communion, I'm saying no, no, I'm gone and I'm gone for good. In tea, they gave me their blessings and a bomb pie, a mummy, a ministry. Okay, okay. 
Eh, my better phone be have a coming sir. Into no my young come ho. Eh, sima me sanswa ba ho na ya tuaso. Nana, eh, Mister, what be coming sir? Mister, we find a ho. Eh, we opening eh remarks. Um, uh, Mrs. Lampy, good evening. Good evening, Nana. If I chop on book or do. Did you have book on your man, Dom? It is a mess. It is a mess. Ah, it has the same name. So, I be kind of honor here to train Como. A blessing, my some of us and some young ministers also joining. And your margins on the warrior software thinking it is easy. <laughs> It's a blessing to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, would you say that there have been a time uh, or regretting marrying a man of God? Has there been any time in your life like that? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 many times. And yet, easy to say, Senior Uncle Phobia, and you're very demanding on you, or family, or privacy, or peace of mind. A uh, yeah, very, very dim. It takes a lot, isn't it? Sometimes recently in an interview on the Perez TV maker, I said, was it Perez TV one TV station? I said, sir, I wish I had a nine to five job. Uh, nine, uh, what, what five, you have a private life. Nobody has access to your life because uh, you've put your life out there. Everybody can see anything, everybody can do anything because you are out there. So yes, I've been there before. Wow, wow, wow! That's great. That's great. And the, um, hmm. I ask more. How, how, how do you deal with? Uh, does men of God also have issue with ego and temperament? And how do you deal with it? I'm happy to say, okay, I said, men of God. The man nature comes before the man nature. Uh, the man nature comes before the God nature. In see, how many people? The beer we na na ufili beer. No man of God beer filisa. It takes a lot of discipline and restraints for them to put theirs on the back burner. But once how many people die? Jesus Christ do maybe no. Uh, close to when going on the cross no. Okachi ano papa na say me ni ya kasaku we be pame no because ni pam soon a day di. In T is there, they have a, they have an issue with ego and pride. Now so don't sacasa ego ni pride now. You are in trouble as a wife. Well, say Hello Sai. Nana Nana Mitonka. My main post a hana ni my main post to a hana to us. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Nana. Uh, Mr. Suomi, uh, let me welcome you to chat with Sir. Uh, Sir Isaac, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, please, your opening submission or remarks. All right. So I'd wanted to ask two questions, but I think she's already touched on one about how she was able to move from the Catholic Church to the husband's church. Uh, and then I'd wanted to delve into the difficulties in the, the switch, whether the parents were in agreement or not. I think that one too, she's touched on it. So my other question would be how she was able to do, deal with um, their doctrines, because the Catholic Church has their peculiar doctrine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I want to believe the husband from the church he is in has their separate doctrine. Let me say the Catholic Church are their doctrines different from the charismatic and the Pentecostal churches. I want to know how she was able to from the Catholic background with that Catholic doctrine, how she was able to manage and be able to relate with a husband with a different doctrine for which she's now part of how she was able to do it. I'd want to, to know about that. Okay, thank you so much for the question. Now, so to, to clarify something, um, I, was, I was, didn't just leave the Catholic Church into my husband's church. I became born again in the church through mm -hmm. a invitation of somebody. So I became born again for close to a year before I met. So I, 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 you know, from the Catholic Church, you know, it's a very disciplined place. 
So coming here, I just had to import some of the virtues from the Catholic Church into the Charismatic Church um, in the form of being dedicated and disciplined to the things of God. This place, a Hanoinia, like doctrinal, traditional religion, you know, it's, it's, it's a matter of you having an encounter with God and everything changing about you. So a lot changed about me, a lot changed about my mindset, a lot changed about, you know, the Kali Church was liberal or is liberal. But this um, being a charismatic, it is going through discipleship school. They had to take you through some vigorous um, discipleship school and disciple you for certain weeks. So I got just used to it. And I just imported some of my discipline from the Catholic Church into the charismatic church. Okay. It's, uh, you sounded like it was that easy. Did you face some diff personal difficulties? Because still the the teachings were different. Yes. So, yeah, so your understanding of this new let me call it a new doctrine that you were not familiar with. Something uh, a doctrine that Catholic Church that we were born into. Mm. Uh, for almost twenty five years. Uh, for twenty five years and now you are being taught something different that is new to you. Like was it that easy accepting it, it this new easy. doctrine? It wasn't easy from the beginning. I missed home. If I say home, I miss the Catholic Church. I miss. I, yeah. I love games. I love to go. I love the mass, especially when it's festivities like the Easter, the traditional things they did. I missed it. But um, this is me finding myself in a new place. I had to adjust and go through where I am now. Though I miss it. Even till date, I miss it. When um, recently we were in a funeral in Nampuega and it was in a Catholic church and whatever they were doing, I was following through. My husband said, the thing hasn't left you. It's still in your dream. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I said, yes, I was, I was born into it. So it can't just leave me like that. So it wasn't easy. It was difficult. But I had to adjust and tell myself, hey, this is a new place. This is what you have embraced now. So there is no turning back. Okay, fine. Uh, I, I, I know what I, my SS was with a, a Catholic institution, the Sherman. Okay. Mm. So I understand some of these dynamics. Even me who was in a Catholic before going to a Catholic school. After, after three years, I think the Catholic school went through me. <laughs> so exactly. uh, I wanted to find out what were some of the struggles, some of the doctrines you struggle with some of the teachings you struggle with like like speaking in tongues okay in the, yeah being a bit speaking in tongues i found it i found it very uh, you know catholic church it's a solemn place there are no no shouting no noise making and this is we have to scream and we go down so it was it was a danger, but I, 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 in the nutshell, I like it now. I think that I'm the noisiest preacher to myself. I, 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 I love the noise now. Okay, thank you. For now, I'll be back. Thank you too. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Siomi, uh, for those wonderful questions. Uh, Mommy, uh, what are some of the responsibilities of a pastor's wife, if I should put it that way. Okay, so it differs from person to person. Um, I always say, say, it's not all pastor's wife who are called to preach. Ooh. Yes. Uh, being a pastor's wife in itself, you know, a calling. Mm -hmm. If you are not called, you can't do it. Um, maybe you are called to be in a Sunday school, you are called to be in the music ministry, you are called to be in the social services, you are called to be a preacher. Fortunately for me, I found my calling, my husband's calling as a preacher and in charge of social services in the church. So, a church to church and people to people. Somebody is called as a pastor's wife and is not a preacher. If you are not a preacher, 
like anybody watching me, don't force it. You, you don't have to force to be a preacher because um, Pastor Wife A is preaching. And so I also want to preach. You know, if it's not your field and the music ministry is your field, just go into it. So it differs from person to person. Oh, okay. How, mommy, how, how do you handle being a wife, a mother, and a pastor as well? Okay, so um, with my temperament, I am a, a melancholy. A melancholy, so we are organizers. So, okay. so to me, organize your time here um, and then put yourself in the mother's you know, role when you are supposed to be a mother. Put yourself in a wife's role when you're supposed to be a wife and then a pastor's wife. You juggle all together. Then you know, yeah, uh, planning and organizing yourself well. Okay. okay. But has there been any time uh, uh, or prepare, I'm not saying only that the air prepare for uh, their ministry work, not family? Uh, Oh, many times, many times. In Tibia, say you mean, if the family needs us, no? uh, one person will take care of the family, and the other person will go and take care of ministry. Oh, okay, okay. In Premier Bay, no, uh, we 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 always hear say uh, some pastors, some. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very particular with that word, some some mm -hmm. pastors. Uh, mm -hmm. MRPT or more wives, you know, especially the gospel. Uh, singers, you know, you being a pastor, you are a, a woman of God, a mother, and a wife, you know, as a pastor's wife, you know, what advice, and I said, what, you, Mami Shazi say, what to be that, and what to be yeah, how do you feel? Um, Mati baby, say, I just said, I will, uh, it will, it will, it will be a man. I guess I need to be a will be a to take, yet to take social media. Sometimes it be bow or yet to take. But what I'll say is that hmm, it takes a lot of discipline to treat your wife well. Uh, you have to be spirit filled to treat your spouse well. I won't, I won't just uh, limit it to me man. What mm -hmm. you say? Money be so emotive, me money be. Mm -hmm. You have to, most of us, you know, what we do is that we are pastors, we want to pastor people, but we are not Christians. Mm -hmm. We want to, we want to be in the limelight in front, um, say, you're a pastor, but you say you're a pastor, you Nah, you bet nah, how would I say it? We'll, we'll work in the stead we'll of work, Christ. Yeah. Yes, we are not doing that. So, and no, that is any man ever. And then, me call Bible school, no, me uh, project work, I'm a Troy, and I'm a thesis, I'm a Troy, is challenges facing pastors' wives, a case study of charismatic ministries today. Into me sample views from many pastors' wives, and I can say on authority, say many pastors' wives. They might not be gospel singers, but they might be somebody in some corner, but they are suffering. They are suffering because in their line of duty as men, you know, they meet a lot of women. And when you start seeing different kinds of women, uh, people will tell you, say, some men will tell you, say, men are adventurous. They, so they put, they want to preserve their ministry. They want to, they think, say, ministry, no, you're more dear. And yen yamia suffer, and your more or more suffer into you know, they spend their time, everything, trying to put the ministry together, and then they put their wives on the back banner. And then more treat uko can now more treatment number. What I say, a hair into you know, and they bring on so um more worry, um more to you know, um more worry gifts, you know, they didn't marry the person. So when you marry the gift, only in panic, never caught na. Ni panic, ni mero ye bi bede di. Ni bi bi something, something will come up into ko hu eno na eno no na eden tutu ye abba. They marry the gift, they don't marry the person. Wow, wow. So it's always good to say ube hu ni panic senior tier. 
and ignore Sorry. the gift because gift, you know, it means it's and I say yes, sir. <laughs> no, you can't want to mean worry gift to pay. Mam, oh your bar now, so worry software. And your software, oh, oh, ten and cast or yet a miracle. So, yes, say, oh, yes, if it was so who nippa or yet and sana because of free puppets and also or ye nippa, nimro ye be daddy. Who is who be who nimro ye as a wife, you know the weaknesses and everything of your husband. It is a win to me who nippa no any senior or tia who be who say gift no or whole, but you will never be happy. Okay, okay. Uh, mommy, mommy, that's it. Mommy, has there been any time uh, uh, who said a man be a uh, obstacle for you? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, oh, my you. husband, my husband is a lovable person. My husband <laughs> is a, a nice person, and you know, women are attracted to power. Mm -hmm. Baby, but sorry, not because they are born again, but because solely for the man what am i say and mm -hmm. you know they will come they will come and make you the pastor's wife their enemy they'll make you the mm -hmm. pastor's wife their target i know they are a whole degree but it's it, like i said it takes a lot of wisdom name pipe to overcome that mm -hmm. wow wow now uh, a banner or ministry Aye, a man iti trio mo ewo ukunu asori mo. Sene ya ni amati. Inti just for uh, just to add up to the meka earlier on. Se inko fubi be acceptable as the pastor's wife and follow your vision and push your vision and help you with your vision. E bini mo hanswa inye unti no mo ba ye. The um unse ma ye time ye hon ma inti me in supporti ye hon. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Into the fact to cry and I say, "Omo ni baby amu free," and say, "Namo be do baby amu do no." Into they will be hating on you. They will not help you with what you are doing. Omo cry be you omo he. Omo be they will be they will be omo be your bones. Some come be omo be pull you down. But then, if you would, yeah, yeah, can I say if you would be focused and go with the people. Who love you are, you'll be able to push your ministry through. Okay. Mommy said, if you be focused on the goal, you'll be able to push your ministry. My answer, uh, questions, Kakra, in free, uh, some of our listeners here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Emmanuel Tete or say hmm, marrying the gift and not the person. There's a ANCMP. P. There's a Ubiya the issue. But mommy said, Oh, she was sitting in a neck. Now, oh, she senior and a youth, no, oh, this and a binum and super and answer almost men of God. More same, oh, I want here. Now, oh, worry. Or so we, yeah. How do you feel? I feel terrible. I feel terrible because um, I was so much say I saw for no so be brain. Um, almost what the and yes, they are not called almost war issues that when they uh, I say this, I say, Oh, yes, so for say Isaac, we are so for now, say, Oh, well. Mel ye be not to me bwank or po be no more or more mel yo mu but wasapu into me mwa wo umro yo mwa why sure your best one comfort on a day on a yearly basis many pastors resign many pastors um almost show mu one comfort because they are alone they are not people say say I say we um suffer now nana so you suffer now oh issue now or catch your nana nana do bear topic I want the pulpit so into there is will be what problem until me be our issue, will be our issue. When the men can't true be into number or your nation home, Bible said one shall put a thousand, two will put ten thousand into a cow mail at your down for be no bomb back up back up and obey to me in your mom will be bomb pie a mouth. So, one may be means that is why pastors are out there. Uncle Forty make can your more pray about pastors. Wow, that question can be bisa and our boss week because I always 
ask myself, say, ah, so when pastors have issue, who do they run to apart from God? ASM, ASM, because if you try to talk to somebody, because of pair of members, because oh, say, um, may a video be it went very viral. It me to check it, and me can say, um, we put our we we kill our soldiers as Christians. Mm. America for more war na baku one soldier is wounded. They try as much as possible to bring that soldier home. But we as Christians, we try to put each other down. Be a pay be about software we will be will be to me a plant or buy in a down for us and that for software. I sorry, send your bear or be or be shares. Now I need be a can. Now I need be a can. What's it? What's it? I say, no, a issue are a noon thing. I saw for us some more out there. Be at me, Cassa, a diddy, a top water, ma, a mabawa, and so it's me a diddy, a soft water. Hm. Nancupon, a hook, a soft work, a mopo, na, umboa, my baby, a son, say, a young members, and your issues, I we know, say, we can run to the men and women of God, but in this case, no, it is extremely difficult for men and women of God to run to. They are fellow human beings for That's right. uh, yes, yeah, say, mm -hmm. When you have issues, be it marital, be it financial, be it church good, whatever, no, or no one can be a woman, 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 be Okay, Mr. Uh, Moa said, Obi, uh, any question, any suggestion to make here on chat with you? Uh, kindly request so that uh, we add you to be part of the speakers so that you can also voice out. Uh, and if you know you have joined us here, kindly share the, the stream to other platforms so that your friends and family members can also have access to it and be blessed tonight. Uh, once again, God bless you all for joining us tonight on chat with you. I really appreciate your time. Mommy said, uh, Oba and number four, a year social media, near my internet, near my air proposal. Yeah, how do you see it? Who is a boy and any film be a high, a harmonious thing? I'm a human. Um, a good side and a war bad side. Social media and my gospel nature. And my OT, what it's like, eh, they say, internet, a man, if we are saying, I hear global village, be be a cost of a baby, a ultimate, um, social media man who forbid my star. What I say, and mainstream media will not even help them. What a man say, uh -huh. so social media, it has its good and bad side. Um, but the extreme, no, and my near my baby, a cost of a say. Yeah, you to know because nudity, you know. Um, I, I recently I was listening to a pastor and I'm called for a share testimony. And how let me say 90% of testimony I share uh, have been delivered from pornography, I've been delivered from um sexual way. And I'm like, Nini na hai social media because with one click, you're on the pornography uh, porn site. With one mm -hmm. click, somebody is doing something. No, they do not do so. Until we have to intensify our work as Christians and as preachers and believers. Okay, we have to intensify our work as believers. Okay. For me, M. Sabranti, if you have a question, be my main putting across. I say, you man, or say, how do you combine outside work and church duties as a woman? Of God, so you don't end up unbalanced. <laughs> That's my son, Ima. Not that he's my son, Ima. You know what you have to. A woman, you are not a woman though. The wife, the wife to be is a career woman. So I'm sure that's why he's asking this mm. question. Um, when I married, I wasn't just. I didn't just leave work. I worked for some time. I juggled between working and ministry. Like I answered you in the beginning, I'm answering him. You are pushing your time, 
and make sure say on your time you it's balance you should have a balanced life um when you come to the ministry you are helping you are effective at your work you would have to combine it before when it's in your me fro into full time then you come into full time okay eh uh, you man Mr. Iman what I hope say eh mommy I answer say me I wish she no na 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 eh mommy san so mra ho bio hello nana um yes sir okay what's your name ma gloria yeah god bless you once again god bless you too um I, I want to find out one thing. If someone inspires to be a man of God, maybe I was in one say, "Oh, a software domain. Oh, means me now making a software. Then it's your home." I think choosing a life partner is an essential commodity in being a minister. Very, on very important. On what principle? Yes, if it is on what principle or how growing up as a youth, a teen, a youth. adult how does he choose his partner and what are the things he should look out for okay so what i will say is that once a oye believer once our person would be suffer marriage can make or mar you many ministers have ended up maybe dead or destroyed because of the kind of wives they marry into you would ask god you will pray and ask god it should be 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 a you will spend time on because um, in council I tell my counselor say say we the 30 let's say we nyan fie let's say 30 years and you marry for 70 years for the next 40 years you are going to be with this woman a woman by 60 years what about pension into who you choose as a wife is very, very you must invest invest time you must invest prayer and ask god say nyame on show so because i had god on my marriage you know me nya trouble since said then and was some since and i walk out of the marriage so you need to hear god on the matter especially if you take you years to pray and ask god to show you who your wife is for one be no mo e ko di aho ofa chi i said earlier on i saw for him pay no young person ko di gift in me pay me pay oba otunyo into so ba na tunyo no e kokko kakra shape kakra o e so for mama material debi sometimes so it's not about what you want it's about what you need into so bomb pa nya me give you your need your want or something or spec be also not be obia unti me fa or how do i say nipa be eh eh ma won kon don I say this to desire the person sexually sometimes um the person is spirit filled but sexually you no know, you cannot relate with the person and also any it pushes you into things you don't want to do into it's prayer invest time and ask god to show you fantastic that that that's that's so good um we have we have some of our church members in mm. going for counseling mm. in other church pastors was they have not even attended a counseling or have one on one discussion with their pastors how do we do with that hmm this is this is a serious thing some people are just spiritual prostitutes they've heard about nana is doing well here they move from their church where they have been planted to go to nana's church say so isaac is doing what they saw him on social media healing somebody they live and go there if only we be a loyal to where god has placed the spirit when you do not when you not become a loyal member of where you are the blessings thereof of that place cannot cover you you need the covering so you cannot be in church a not go to counseling in church a not even ask about the matter then you are in church b you don't have a covering you don't have a covering so you need to be diligent where you are that is where god sends angels to bring your needs and then 
not there, you are at another place. When you are, they don't know you, they don't recognize you. So your covering is very, very important. You know where you are. It place to move you can move but you cannot be here doing stuff here doing stuff there it's you will not be blessed um mama mama gloria yes sir. uh i have friends that uh, register general and other department why are christian mm. marriages suffering I, I am I'm centering on Christian marriages. Why is it suffering of late? Because the motives with which Christians marry is wrong. The motive, um, Ajua married. It was beautiful. Her marriage was beautiful. I want to out to do Ajua's wedding. So they are, we are just in competition. And then we are looking at, you know, like I said earlier on, somebody who the pomp and pageantry that comes with the wedding although we've dated a couple of us married and we have we married but we did not ask god most times yet to one man and they didn't and we don't even ask god we go into it with the missing will, not the perfect will of God. We don't pray about our marriage. Oh, God, I want a wedding. I want a marriage. Oh, but who you are marrying? Very serious. But the enemy is marriages. And so if you do not pray before entering, that marriage will collapse before the marriage even started. Bible says one shall put a thousand to fly, two will put ten thousand to fly. So he hates marriages. But the foundation of Christian marriage is weak. We are in competition. I want a wedding by force. And then we put pressure on our young women. She's 30 years. And you go for a wedding. You see somebody who is 35. Hey, yaba, I do a wedding. So the pressure with which we, we, we talk to people who are delaying a bit, we feel marriage is everything. When you come into the Christendom right now, every young woman is praying for marriage. We are not praying for, um, we, you ask people, and they don't even have vision. They have vision. They don't have vision. Are we breaking, please? Hello? Hello, mommy. Please, we can hear you. Okay. So the, the, most people don't have vision. All they want is marriage, marriage, marriage. So these are the reasons why marriages are not working. And then we have fried, we have fried rice women. They don't know how to cook, but they know how to pray. So if you marry them, and they can't, they can't, they can't do. They can't take care of a man. Most people don't even know how to take care of a man, and then they want to marry. How would you be able to sustain the marriage? Lastly, lastly, most of the women, because we are creepy, it's all creep, creep, creep. So the sexual part we the man wants, they do not invest time to learn about the love making. And Christianity, our love making is boring. Okay, what's it? Oh, that, that that's that's interesting. Uh, Ma Gloria, please. Yes, so. My next question. I want to ask a first rhetoric question before the other follow. Who is a counselor? Oh. Is every man of God a counselor? <laughs> every man of God can be a pastoral counselor, but to be a marriage counselor, you need to go to school for it. We have a pastoral counselor. You're a pastor, so you can counsel people based on general life. But to be a marriage counselor, you have to train. Apart from the experiences one has, you have to train to be a marriage counselor. Okay. Do you foresee a lot of counselors having a negative impact of leads? That's the, that's the truth because 
most pastors want to, you know, you cannot be all round. You, we know in parts and we prophesy in parts. You cannot be all round. So where you are deficient, you need to, you know, refer to who knows. But because you want to be a master of everything, and you don't know your friends will know that you are deficient in a way, um, because if they know, they will tell your members, oh, so for, it's not good to my church because of that insecurity everybody wants to be a counselor and then that is what is killing some marriages and some people because wrong counseling goes ahead of them wow wow that's fantastic say so, i before i end uh so for mommy please um what is the impact of the pastor's wife on church goods The pastor's wife can make or mar the church because, um, the, like I, I said from the beginning, it's a very difficult position you find yourself in. If you have a pleasant personality, if you have a pleasant personality, you could repel the people. If you are very firm, sometimes people from homes who don't have training, who wants to have, you could have problems with um, church members. If you are too liberal, you will you could also put them to the church. So you have to balance of oh, the pastor's wife should have a, a balanced life. And the pastor's wife, a, a worse pastor's wife, can drive people out of the church. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Safmani. Thank you very much. Sike, we can take it from thank there. Okay, but Nana, good, uh, good, e good evening, I see you. Me. I see you. <laughs> Okay, before I come to Mr. Siwomi, uh, let me take this question from uh, Mr. Ni Bote Botia. I don't know if I mentioned the name correctly. Uh, Ni uh, Bote Botia. Mommy, how do, you, how do you deal with an unforgiving wife or husband as a minister of God? <laughs> you pray for that person. The Bible says the heart of a king is in God's hands. As he turned the water, so does he turn the heart of a king. There is nothing God cannot do. It might take time, but you pray for the person and you exhibit forgiveness. Let that person know that if they offend you, you will forgive easily. So that when you also withhold forgiveness, that person will also withhold forgiveness. You be an example to that wife or husband and pray for the person. Okay. All right. Uh... Let's take this one. Uh, what are your biggest mistakes as a minister? Wow. Hmm. <laughs> I've had some terrible, I've had some terrible, I've made certain terrible mistakes, bringing some people close. There, um, there were people I shouldn't have brought close into my life. Um, there were certain people, you know, you take advices from people, you must not take advice. Sometimes when you are desperate, you talk to the wrong people and they give you wrong counseling and it affects you in ways that you cannot. There are certain associations that I found myself in that I shouldn't have. And so those are my let me see, those are or I, in people in general, when you are firm, they there is respect. But when you up, they will destroy you. But when you become firm, then everybody will Those are some of the mistakes I have made. Okay, okay. So it's always good to watch closely the people you bring yes. around you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Very important for a pastor's wife and a wife and a pastor for that matter. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, someone also wants to know, how do you, how does one handle pressure from meet family, friends to get married? How does one handle it? What you have to do is be focused. Do not let anybody pressurize you into marriage. Be focused. Don't allow, don't 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 follow the flow. Don't follow the whether you like the man or not, he's a, a, a believer or not. I know a lady who was who was 
marriage, marry, marry didn't come. She's a believer. She went to marry a Muslim because there was so much pressure. Went to And to a Muslim, and she died in the in the process of childbirth. Mm. So nobody should pressure. Be let it be your own pace. Let be will of God, and not just the will of God. Be in the path, not the permissive will of God. Okay, okay. And then uh, we we'll take another one from some of our listeners. Uh, someone wants to know. Could you please share with us, the young ministers, some of your earlier adapted guidelines that has kept your marriage for this long? <laughs> okay, so it's simple. You die every day. <laughs> you die every day. What am I trying to say? You forgive every day. Mm. And when I wake up, I leave the pain of yesterday in yesterday. Mm. And I, 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 yes, I make excuses for my partner. I tell myself he's human. And the only thing for me to pray for him. So the pray for me, I should also pray for him. Every day, and I tell myself that um, if you are in the will of God, you go through pain, you go through challenges. But though the destination might not, the, the path might not look good, the destination is beautiful. Okay. Thank you, mommy. But what if, what if one party keeps on doing the right thing and the other party doing the other otherwise? Um, everybody gets to that threshold. Everybody gets to that place that ube timi, untimi, ubiyani ni resilience. Mm -hmm. What I can take, somebody might not be able to take it. Mm -hmm. What I can tolerate, somebody might not be able. So it differs from person to person. I made up my mind, say, I will make it work. It's a one way ticket for me. Into the good, the bad, the ugly, I will pray. Like I said, make, like I'll go back to what I said. I heard God. Mm -hmm. Entered the marriage. I want to hear God say, Me say, say, your time is up with the man. Move. I will move without looking back. Because I want to be in the will of God. Mm. Okay. You die every day. You put self on the back burner. Most of us, we are too aware of ourselves. I am a marriage counselor. What I tell people, the, the, thing, the thing that will make me tell you to husband, as for the divorce, there, it, it, it lies on you to take or to separate from your husband. Is when you are going through abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, and you cannot take it. You can separate. Okay. Okay, thank you, mommy. Uh, once again, let me say that if you want to speak or put something across here on chat, we say kindly request and let us add you so that you can voice out. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Siwomi, let me come to you again. All right. Uh, thank you. I'm actually enjoying the conversation. Mom, thank you so much for, for your time. Thank you, Mr. Siume. Okay. So my next line of questions. Uh, number one, I am here as a single man, unlike uh, mm. Nana who is married. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want I want to... <laughs> so Isaac, I'm like you. Yeah. You ask the question for both of us. Uh, stop laughing so I ask the question. <laughs> how how is how is marriage? How is it like? How is marriage? Apart from the fictions, apart from the stories we hear from people. I believe there's reality to marriage than the fictions of people, what they think marriage is. You have been married for these number of years. How is marriage like? How is it? Marriage 
marriage is difficult. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that um, it's sweet, it's difficult. But when you are able to get it right, marriage is difficult, but it is difficult. I said um, before you came on that marrying to self every day. Marriage is putting yourself on the back burner for your partner. If you are a too self-centered, you can marry. If your life is as for me, as for me, 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 it's all about you. You can marry. Because it gets to a point that my son got married recently and I got to know from him um, very recently that the wife doesn't like putting the when she sleeps. The man wants to put the lights off. This could be a bone of contention in marriage. Mm. So to you, if you are married, you put on the back burner. The other the most important person for you after marriage is your spouse. No longer about you. How many of us will be able to do that and do that effectively? Those are married because we take self. As for me, in my family, in my family, when I was getting married, my mother-in-law told me my husband as the man in their family, in their family, the men don't sweep, they don't do anything, the women have to do everything for them. So, if I'm coming from a place where my father irons for my mother, I know that um, I'm in for something different. You don't import where my challenges because in my home, um, we cook for weekends, you know, store in the freezer and eat daily. When I married, I married a man who wants fresh food every day. And I was working. I had to go to church. Sometimes we get home 12 a.m. I had to for him. So if you put self, there are many, many things that you are not conversant with. But most people are selfish. When they are hurting their partner, they do not even, you know, think about it. So marriage is tough. It's work. You must work at it. You don't marry and just leave it and you think that, oh, do, oh, it's not a bed of roses. Even roses have tones. Okay. So uh, I am here listening to you. And marriage, mm. marriage sounds like a bunch of responsibility. It is. Okay. Before marriage... It sounds like expectations. But mm -hmm. the reality is that in marriage, it's, it's a bunch of responsibilities. And you have to take, you have to minus your expectation and put on the garment of responsibility to make it work. Exactly. You know, but, sometimes you have expectations, but when you go into it, certain things happen, you are like, hey, Okay. So you How... said it right. Good. So the young people who want to get married have expectations. I mm -hmm. expect that my husband does this to me. I expect that the woman has to mm -hmm. do this. Only to get into the marriage mm -hmm. and it has to be responsibility. And then as if you don't have an expectation. How, what will you tell me and Isaac, who is mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. our expectation before marriage and then responsibility in marriage? Okay, this is um, a very good question. What I want you to enter into marriage. Yes, have expectations, but know that there will be surprises. What you did not bargain for, you will see it. 
all put together. No matter the counseling anybody will give you, you cannot have it all fixed. Make yourself available that I am going to see that I will be surprised at. And mind you, I said this, let me digress a bit. Some people can court for 10 but they can pretend so well that you will not know who they actually are. So you live with the man until you a woman. You might love each other so well, but until you live together and wake up together and sleep together, you might not see the other side of the person. So your expectations become you just wrote it down. Mm -hmm. Know that, okay, me, even me, as a me, I can change. There are things I don't want to do. The time I'm doing that. So you make room for your partner. So you are not other than what I No. Make room for your partner. Make for surprises, for expectations that are not met. Okay. Uh, that said, my other question is, you already said that to be married to a man of God as a woman is a calling yes. and a ministry and a ministry on his own. Yes. Fine. More so, not just being a wife to a man of God, but mm. in the position where you also have a peculiar ministry, like mm. your husband's ministry, mm. or you're also in a ministry like your husband. Let me say so. Mm. Mm. How, what does it take to become a successful wife to a man of God who also has a ministry? A wife who has a ministry, but a wife to a man of God. What does it take to be a successful one at that? Know your place at if you don't take care, you are in ministry, your husband in ministry. If you don't take care, you might be competing with your husband. Okay. And I was telling somebody this afternoon, I've learned the hard way that I am a woman and I, I must submit to a man. My, my uh, background, whatever I am, I, I to my husband. So if we are in my place that he is the head, I am the neck. Without the neck, the head cannot move. So I am the engine of that man. I must come to that place of submission when I submit and give him. What a man wants is that you give him his place, make him feel that he is the boss. Mind you, it didn't take me a day to get here. I have had identity crisis. I've had identity crisis. I've had issues that I feel that I must be heard. I'm also a pastor. I must also do this. I must also do that. But it takes time. It takes maturity. It takes experience for me to talk the way I am talking. So if anybody is hearing me who is a young pastor's wife and you are also in ministry, know your place as a wife. Even if you are in ministry and your husband is not in ministry, Bible says, if you are married to an unbelieving man, your character should let the man follow you because sometimes because we feel that, oh, me too, I'm a woman of God. I must be heard. I must know. We, women, we, no matter who you are, you are submit. I'm not saying submit unto foolishness and no, no, that's not what I'm saying. But your husband, when you submit to your man, <laughs> love comes automatic for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other thing to add? Apart from submission. Know your place. 
know your place as a woman. Work hard to push that man. As you push him, he will pull you along. Pray for him. Support his ministry. You are his number one prayer warrior. You are his number one cheerleader. Wherever my husband goes, he says this. He says I'm his worst critic and I'm his best encourager. Wherever he goes. Number one fan. Because he comes from... Yeah, I'm his one, number one fan. And I'm his number one critic. Okay. So you don't have you shouldn't be ha you shouldn't have a conflict of interest mm. your okay. vision must align to his vision mm. to be able to have a successful ministry it is not yeah. going to be easy but as you do it it's good there are times that you'll be put down there are times that your views will not be heard there are times that um, i am the man maybe you have you have the finest ideas but because he's the man, his ego comes in first. I'm the man. I must do this. I must do. This. But sometimes they go and hit the wall. And they they come back to you. You said it. Mm -hmm. So you must be circumspect and use a lot of wisdom as a woman minister. Okay. Final one. How is ministry mm -hmm. like for women in Ghana? It's difficult because most men don't accept women's ministry. I've had I've had challenges where I was ministering anointing. There was this man, he said he doesn't a woman, a woman will know and the, you know our culture our our culture translates into the ministry. Mm. Oba dear, oba, oba dear, oba. They, they put us on the back burner, be on the back burner. There's no way you should be in front. And then when Paul said the woman should keep silent, somebody did take dogmatic word and then turn it. So I asked, where was Lois? Where was Deborah? Mm -hmm. Where was Jael? All those women who did, they were men. But Deborah did so well that where she, uh, she sat to judge was named that I, there were men there, but God chose to use a woman. Mm -hmm. So our, our culture, our tradition, make a lot of men accept women's ministry. I, I, I think your last submission is something we should have time to talk about, women ministry and culture. Yes. Uh, maybe on some yes. other platform when we have the opportunity, last we week. talk about it. All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Sumi. Uh, we have about 15 minutes to, to end our conversation, though it's been very wonderful. Hmm. Also works in <laughs> some again. You you were breaking some points. You want to know that. whether it it submission also works in courtship, just as you talked about in marriages. That is when you will know if the woman you are going to marry. I mean, I've got best wife. So if the person cannot be submissive to you in courtship, then know that she cannot be submissive to you in marriage. Okay. A, a doctor of mine said, marriage is seesaw. <laughs> what you are sawing now, my own English, you see in marriage. <laughs> you will see a double in marriage. <laughs> if you so, do not uh, like what you are uh, seeing now. Okay. So saying this, eh, mommy, uh, oh, mm -hmm. okay, if you say what you are seeing now, you might see it in marriage. Is it possible? Because we always say, say, oh, nipa ni besisa, obesisa, obesisa. Should we overlook that and now say we should just say, say, when we see Please, those don't flags, overlook. We should... they, are, they, are, they are red billboards. They are not flags. They are red bi billboards. Hello, I said they are red <laughs> billboards, not flags. <laughs> it's they that yeah, or beyond, say, 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 you cannot change any mm -hmm. until the person wants to change. Oh, me worry, no, best, say, me patro, on, say, say, cause you won't go now, won't go. Any, I worry, no, my dear, do you be who know? I'm saying, so I know. 
Hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, you might also want to know finally uh, how you normally deal with stress. <laughs> I know he's saying something to me. You know, I I like to be by myself, maybe get a massage, maybe just be there, be by, by myself, idle around. That's how I do with my stress. Hmm. I want to be by myself. I get a massage, I get a good sleep, and I'm rejuvenated for the next assignment. Okay. And mommy, um, <laughs> you said daddy, or your counseling. Uh, would you advise me? Nim send your daddy counseling, no, at here. As often, no, be or when they are doing counseling, their partners are there, or they have minimum be crying nearby at any change. Say, now daddy, and how would you recommend, say, as of for counseling should be? Um, it's right to say, say, there should be somebody close by. Hmm. So that you get a nest to my office. Okay. You see, I'm close. I'm able to go in and out. But say, uh, um, the reason why I'll not recommend say counsel no be to for say counseling requires confidential confidentiality. Obi wafa or pen nasem no person be a better or be cano cry no any day no be for fraud to her. You see. Um, near me being to somebody should be close by. Ah, Nipano, eh, baby, I'm a one, and yet we are very far away from. In fact, you meet here. Hello. Hello. Ma ba Yeah, hello. Say hi. Oh my, oh my, I check with this friend of mine. Me pa cho me ti se se. Okay. Okay. Nana pa cho, na okay bibi. Ma ta na me se check my network no on the dinner. Okay, okay. Okay. Mommy pa cho this year Can you hear me now? Ah, me too, ka. Me too. Okay. So I was asking say e mebnu the youth Ah, the brain na a war a dream for fro about a software warrior. Say, ye can say, and you may mommy two year and four. A foot will burn out of my mind. Now start try a dream or a software. Hmm. Sure. Yeah, I buy you be a old team. I or desire to marry a pastor. A person who are in patch or mountain pipe or income. Men could de fame nature. Mm. Uh, same go for him, no men per se me ye first lady. In fact, your first lady comes with a lot of responsibility, mm. it comes with a lot of pain, it comes with a lot of tears. Mm. Ah. Mm. Turn around so bad. Some of mm. they say a bit half hour, you know, and yet is this story and as God said. Are you being called in office as wife? Me patcho say yen frewa don't venture, don't go into it. Yeah, frew on swa shall on sapo moon su ne bom pie. And nasa me one o keke. And yes, I will and until you have to really, really, really pray as God. Nyame on idea on a daily basis into you know, speak to God um seek for the call a software unim se nyame ne ne omo ko kasa about a worry seek counseling bible says adam out of the mouth of two or three a thing is established so i'll say from two or three a na nyame e kasa and into you know, pray more seek the face of god before you go into the marriage, go into it because of um, the night. Nice, I said, uh, of that. 
Okay. Don't go into marriage because of the many opportunities that come with it. Mommy, thank you so much. Nana uh, Gwesi Mpacho, we'll find us admission. Na you enjoy mommy. Okay. Uh, mommy, wait here. Yeah, I think send your money be bill. What is what what are the plans for the of the church to the teens, adolescents, and then uh the church members on social media, the business leading our congregations on social media. And I'm on so you need to, to guide your members. No one you might be brave. I was social media and also your members need to be a tree because you can do it. Be a lesbian, it be a young man, be brave. A quamber and a saffono, a fasso, a a boa, a mebuno, and a second one. And so may I say, set we are a software, and I said, Oh, body, yes, software, okay, and so for responsibility. Any only you Oh, Nana Olai, no, eh, yeah, but say, being said, Nana, I'll be glad if you can ask your question again. Not line it, Bricky. I'm saying, Nana, I say. So let me ask, let me answer the first. He's let me, back, let me answer I, the first one. Host. I think he can't hear us. Okay, let me, mommy, please continue. Let me answer the first one before he comes up with the second one. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. For no, it should. Um, we should not only uh, dwell on the prosperity message. Prosperity message. Maybe more. And so we we need to teach about consciousness and. And, and preach about baby ayeko you know where we are going your boot high as a christopher prosperity message no baby you know emma yang a yen yam maybe a ncnt your sermons should change character formation must come in letting the people know say message but our messages must change and do a, be a lot of character formation prophecy yeah we shouldn't build the church just on prophetic something we should preach the bible on adulterated way to the church especially to the younger ones it me okay thank you so much mommy i think we have lost Okay, uh, yeah, well, gospel minister of Ako, uh, yeah, Mary Reed, the wife of Nana, Mr. Ajimai. Uh, Mary Pacho, who will we become Mr. Wakanda? Oh, Pacho, me that's it. Um, me chiamu bium. Good evening. Yanko pong o chiamu bibri, and I'm a glory answer. Yamin shall pa na menyaji. Yamin shall we see. Any a casa, a church, any ama, any so be free. Let me say, some of us know, South Pine or Swana. Yes, so you're numb now. A boy, a pa, and then you may. And I'm very privileged mm. to hear from you and to talk to you one on one. I dare my desire check. Wow, wow, wow. You see, I am a dear, I mean, shall I mean, shall I'm patrol, not na na say. We used to make platform, and I think the next week and the air had no Okay. 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 That's fine. Hi. 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 Okay. 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 I think I'm in network, you know. But now, my second question, no, I say, the church and social media, your church members, you'll be a of social media, so the deeper bibrechi, if you are called this if you are lesbian, if you are because of pressure media, a be so change the chair morning. Ah, almost basso, yeah, instead of concentrating on your most of what you're mono. You might see what I want to know. I indoctrinate you, mono, and on the almost a company or most of worker, bringing a lot of problems to the church. And I'm moving as a for no eight to the abua the teens. 
the youth, the adolescents on social media, the church, and then the body of Christ. I think so I said earlier on, so we must intensify your teachings. We must change the prosperity message. Messages is now yet sharing to a place. There are certain churches you cannot bring important. I was recently so for be I don't know what the man was preaching on my next topic on my ushers no a driver so for now out of the pulpit. So we must know who we bring onto our pulpit and then know the kind of teaching we teach the church. We must change our language, they say, because let me the devil he over time. The church must also work over time. Yeah, relax it. The church has relaxed and the devil is taking over the church, especially the youth. We must do a lot of work for the youth. We must teach them to concentrate on the youth more because a future generation. So the church must do a lot of work and a lot of training. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Nana. Mr. Mr. Final submission. All right, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the Lord is a jealous God. Indeed he is. <laughs> Are you a jealous wife? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to be to be very honest, I am I, I was telling the church yesterday, me I speak my mind. Um, I don't have to lie. When I'm married, I was a very jealous wife. Every woman that loves their husband will be jealous. But over time, I realized that my husband is a people person. If you want to be jealous, you will die before you. You must build that thing around and tell yourself that I don't need to be jealous. You know that do you know the Holy Spirit can gossip more than anything? You leave him into the hands of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You leave him into the hands of God. And, and, and I mean, it's okay to be jealous, but you cannot be distracted with your jealousy. Over time, <laughs> I have dealt with it, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, there's also a lot of people, especially when they come across a man of God, they are, mm. their understanding is that marrying a man of God uh, it's 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 sad that you are boxed into a certain lifestyle that mm. you are not able to have a lesser life. Like maybe I want to go to the beach, I want to go to the poolside, or oh, uh, and uh, uh, so wife is also going to the beach or something. Women want to have some form of leisure life, but they feel the mind a man of God would is so restrictive. I don't know how it depends on the person. It depends okay. on the person you are married. It depends on the person you are married. Some some men of God do not mind. I mean, once you're not going to do anything until what? Once you are not going to disgrace him. We are in the world. It's just that we are not of the world. So, going to the poolside, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Going to the beach, I don't see anything wrong with it. And when it becomes, you, the, your Christianity becomes boring. That is when little things can sway you. Okay. Christianity should not be boring. It should be lively. That is why the world is snatching the young ones from the church. Because they see it as entirely. We should, we should bring innovations, things into the church that will make not things that will let us um, deviate or lose focus from our, our assignment, but things that will make it beautiful. The church is evolving. And so we should not be have a place of oh, pastor's wife. You can't go here. You can't. No, no, no. You can't do that. It depends when on somebody's it... an introvert. Somebody okay. wants to go anywhere. 
somebody's an extrovert want to be out there you mm -hmm. know so it depends on the person you were asking when last did i did you have an argument with trevor and did your I husband arguments when oh we husband and I every day <laughs> we argue every day oh we argue every day every time you know oh we're serious oh no no serious no no anything no serious serious arguments mm. uh, very you know i can't uh, maybe a month or two ago i was such a conflict resolution oh yes one thing one thing we do my husband and i is that um we are able to solve our issues. We are able to talk about it. And the person we need to do this pain that's not going into tomorrow. And so the children around us will be like, all of them will scatter. But the next woman, they see us talking and like, these people, you don't, you don't, you don't really, be for this camp okay uh, how do you spice up your marriage sex or vacation or traveling or how do you spice it up <laughs> oh my god how do I don't you spice it up my type he won't go on vacation mm -hmm. he's work 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 and work and so if i want to spice things up i follow him to do what he loves to do like like ministry his life is all about ministry like ministry okay. he, he preaches here and there so if i want to spice this up okay you're going out let's go there maybe we'll go past somewhere have dinner and then we spice it out. Okay. On that spice note, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sue. Thank you. Thank you so me. much. I see you, me. I see you, me. <laughs> yeah. but, but sincerely, uh, Mr. Sue, these questions have been very helpful to me as well. I'm a single person, so uh, for, for Mr. Ajimai, I see. <laughs> people, people have interest, serious interest. <laughs> is it that? Is it that the two of you are trying to communicate something to Miss Gloria, or what? Are you trying to? <laughs> oh, what, whatever you want to <laughs> think is up to you. Are you trying to? visiting your church one of these days. <laughs> I, I have, it, you know. I have. I have a, a lot of young women, beautiful ones there, so you can come. Just, oh, I just see. Come and, uh, yes, come, come. <laughs> we'll be we, we'll there this Sunday. I'm free on Sunday, so I can come. <laughs> you, to, you told okay. me I should think what I'm thinking. Now, when you heard she has ladies there, now you can go. That's what you was, that, was, that, was that what you were thinking? <laughs> yes, exactly. That was that was. <laughs> 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 well, 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 thank you so much for tonight. We really appreciate your time here. Mommy, please, uh, the three of us will come. I'll join them, please. I will be glad to have you. I'll be glad to have you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And and one thing we want to pass across to you so that you can send it to daddy is me personally, I love his gun worships. He shouldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Where is Daddy? Where is Daddy? Tell him. I'm calling him for you so that you tell him yourself. Wow. That you wow. love his his. Please, when he comes, <laughs> we won't give Asiomi any chance to ask any question. When he comes around, <laughs> Asiomi is done talking. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. He, he's, he's free. He's free to ask, and he will answer him. Oh, he will. He will so really much, answer. Him. Thank you. He can. He'll then, then one chance, one chance for us, you will be enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's he's coming. Or even let me. Okay, where is Daddy? Daddy. Check. Check.
Okay, so uh, before Daddy comes, uh, let me Daddy? once again say Daddy? thank you so much to all of us for joining tonight's feed on Chat with Sir. We really appreciate your time. Your contributions have been very helpful. Okay, hello. Hello. Hello, Daddy. Yes. <laughs> we are so privileged to have you here tonight on Chat with Sir. Thank you so much. I am humbled, sir. <laughs> I was telling mommy that one of the things I, I, I love so much about you is your God worship. And please, we don't want you to stop. Please continue. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I have you. no intentions of stopping. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Zubi, Thank you so says much. You have, you have permission to ask that question. So please go ahead. Hey. I will not be I will not be tempted to ask any question. <laughs> I refuse to be tempted. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, that is. I'm uh, listening, sir. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll I'll talk to you later to find out uh, when you will be available to also come here and give us some of the powerful teachings you have been giving to your members. Yes, sir. Okay. We will be, we'll be so glad to have you here. Yes, sir. Thank you so much also for the honor. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you, Daddy. Thank God you. bless you, sir. Okay. Uh, you back to it. Okay, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you for having us. God bless okay. you. Have a good okay. night. Amen. Amen. But mommy, please uh, pray for us before we leave. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this wonderful night. Your words is... Where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for what you have downloaded to us tonight. As we leave, Lord, we ask that you embed that wisdom. Let us walk in wisdom, circumspect in all we do. We ask for divine protection, divine guidance, divine security. We ask, oh God, that whatever the enemy intends to do against any of us, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that the will of God will be done in our lives. Thank you for answered prayer. Amen. Amen. Mommy, thank you so much for tonight. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. God bless you. God bless you, you so much for whatever you are doing in the ministry. Uh, we ask that the Almighty Lord will continue to give you more protections and guide you Amen. in whatever activity that you are involved in. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Yes. Where are I? All right, folks, it, it has been a very wonderful evening uh, on Chat We Say. Uh, I really appreciate all the time you have spent with us here. Uh, your contributions, your submissions, your questions have been so helpful. Uh, let me say thank you to my producer, Nana Kwesi, a.k.a. Mr. Ajemai, <laughs> and my able co-host as well. Mr. Siwomi, thank you so much for your time tonight on Chat with Seb. And like I always sign out, always know that I love you. But one thing you must never forget is that God loves you more than I do. Until we meet again, the same place, same time, please stay safe and continue to be in the will of God. God bless you all.